A driver crashed into Chucky Hepburn's car last night near Cornhusker and Fort Crook. Officers say the driver who hit him may have been under the influence. KETV Newswatch 7's Jim Brinklow just talked with Hepburn and his parents. We're definitely blessed um, to have him here. Melissa and Greg Hepburn Jr. are glad to be at this basketball game instead of a hospital room. It's just been struggling right now because last night it still didn't really hit me that, that I got in the car accident. It could have been very serious. Their son Chucky Hepburn was driving home with his best friend last night when police say a suspected drunk driver hit the teens. I'm one of those people that always thinks the worst and so um, getting that phone call was like very emotional for me. That call started with Chucky telling his mom he was okay. Oh, I know. I knew exactly right when I called. I knew my mom was going to freak out. But, uh... Chucky's parents say driving to the scene was one of the quickest yet longest drives they've ever made. Just moments. Moments. This could have been a different outcome. It could have been a different conversation. 30 minutes after I got home, and there was a tweet that came out about a GCU player that, that just passed away from a car accident Tuesday night. So that just kind of put a little fear in my heart, knowing that that could have been me. Instead, the Wisconsin commit gets to play basketball with his high school friends one last time, and his parents will be there to cheer him on. I just feel comforted and relieved, you know, that he's able to be here, that we're able to say, on Wisconsin and, you know, look forward to the future for both of our sons. Jem Brinklow, KETV, News Watch 7.